What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Svanko and today I'm excited because I'm bringing you guys sword soul combos that you need to know for today's format so that you can be competitive and be successful with the deck. Now in these combos I'm going to be showing you guys how to play around Nibiru, how to play through hand traps, and a bunch of different other basic combos that you need to know. But if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one or if you guys want to see deck profiles which by the way the deck profile was yesterday's video and if you guys want to see duels all that kind of good stuff it is on the channel so make sure you guys are subscribed for that i don't want to take up too much of your time so with that let's get into the combos okay so for our first combo over here it requires two cards and that is teni spirit ashuna as well as teni spirit adhara these three cards don't matter just three blank cards in your hand this is all you need and what this is going to let you do is let's just say you have a normal summon and you want to play through something like a nibiru i'm talking like going into games two and games three you're scared your opponent might have a nibiru might have their hand traps and you want to play through the hand traps these two cards alone let you play through these hand traps so what you're going to start off doing of course you're going to activate your ashuna and special summon the ashuna and then link it away to summon your monk of the tenny now of course there's other combos that you can do and i can uh, show you guys how to do those combos with these same two cards but i do want to show you guys like how you can specifically play through hand traps imagining these are like moye long wand something like that and you don't want to lose to nib right so now that you have your monk of the tenny you can activate your adhara to summon itself then you're going to activate the ashuna banish it from your graveyard to summon your Vishuda, okay? So now you're gonna use the Vishuda and the Adharo to Synchro Summon into a level eight Synchro here. And the level eight Synchro you're gonna make, be making in this situation is you're gonna be making your Boxia. So now that you have the Boxia on the board, you can activate the Boxia effect to pop the Monk of the Tenyi to Special Summon at level four or lower Worm Monster from your graveyard, and that is gonna be your Tenyi Spirit Adhara. Then you can use the Adhara and the Boxia, link these two away so that you can go into your Chao Fang. Now, why this is really good is this is two cards that make you into Chao Fang. And if you guys don't know what Chao Fang does, it pretty much locks your opponent out from activating monster effects with the original type of the Yang Zing monster you used. In this case, we use Boxia and Boxia is a light. So for this case, you're locking your opponent out of using cards like Ogre, out of using cards like Nibiru. And technically, if they were to, for example, Nibiru you before you get to this point, then that's perfectly fine because at this point, you still haven't used your normal summon. So that's where the whole combo comes into play because now you have a Taiye in hand or a Moi or a long one now you guys can continue playing through a nibiru so this combo lets you do two things it lets you play through hand traps and it lets you just put another big monster on the board where it's just pretty much a floodgate it's it's literally just a floodgate even if your opponent doesn't have a hand trap this still acts as a floodgate for you funny enough just before we get into the next combo here i do want to talk about chow fang because a lot of people miss the second effect and the second effect is really really important while this card is synchro summoned so in this point it is synchro summoned right and let's say it's destroyed by battle or card effect but that your opponent destroys it what ends up happening is this can actually search any tuner from your deck to your hand which funny enough means you can search an Ash Blossom if need be. You can search an Effect Veiler. This card is nuts, but of course the most important part of this card is that it lets you play through hand traps. So now for the second combo, I'm going to be showing you guys the same two card combo. However, let's just say you won the die roll. You're not afraid of a Nibiru because you don't think your opponent has Nibiru's in the main deck. So here, I'm going to show you how this two cards gets you a full combo. You're going to activate the Ashuna. It's going to start off pretty much the same way. Special summon it. Link this away to summon your Monk of the Tenyi. Then you're going to activate your Adhara because you control no effect monsters. Special summon it. And then you're going to activate your Ashuna. Banish it. I'm going to put the Banish Pile over here so you guys can see. to special summon of Ashuna. So this is kind of the same combo as it was before. However, instead of making Boxia here, let's say you're just not afraid of a hand trap, right? Like I said, you can use these two and still synchro into a level eight. And the one you're going to be synchro summoning into is your Chi Chao. So now Chi Chao is going to get to trigger and search a Sword Soul card from your deck to your hand. At this point, it could be your Sword Soul of Emergence. It could be your Long One. Depends on what you have in your hand, right? But let's just say these next three cards are none of those cards, okay? So let's just say these are three blanks that are unusable at the moment. So Chi Chao here is going to search your Sword Soul of Taiye. At this point, you still haven't used your normal summon, but because you control this still, you're gonna activate your Adhara quickly just to add back the Ashuna back to your hand, just so you still have a worm monster in your hand for something that's gonna be relevant later. Then because you still haven't used your normal summon, you're gonna normal summon your Taiye, you're gonna activate its effect to summon a token to your side of the field by banishing the Vishuda that is in your graveyard. So now you have a Taiye, and then you're gonna synchro summon these two together into a level eight synchro. And the level eight that you're gonna be going into now is actually your Boxia. So now you go into Boxia a little bit later, and the reason for that is because Taiye now gets its effect to send a Sword Soul card from in the deck to the graveyard. So in this case, we're actually going to be sending the Moye. The reason we ordered it this way is because you needed the Ashuna back in your hand before we activated the Boxia effect, because what we're going to do now is we're going to activate the Boxia to pop the Monk of the Tenyi to special summon back the Moye. So now Moye gets to special summon itself back, 
and then now you have a reveal for it so you're going to activate its effect reveal the ashuna that you added back earlier to get another token to your side of the field so now you can use the moye and the token to go into a level eight but keep in mind you are stuck into worm monsters because you use the ashuna effect this turn so there's a lot of still good level eight worm monsters that you can do go to and my go-to in this situation is draco berserker because now what ends up happening is you have a monster negate but also you have a card that when your opponent activates a monster effect you can banish it and then this will gain the attack so now you have a banish and you have a monster negate just off of two tiny cards you still have an ashuna in your hand for next turn you have your graveyard set up i should mention also moye when it sent to the graveyard for a synchro summon you do get a draw so this draw could be anything just with your ashuna and your adhara that's your full combo so now you're setting up two disruptions and five cards still in hand with two cards quick intermission before we get into the rest of the combos here you guys might be wondering hey spanko where'd you get your awesome really cool field center this is actually a smart field center made by smart tcg and what's so smart about it is that it's encoded with a chip where with one tap of your phone will send you to any link that you set it up to. In this case, we're gonna set it up straight to the channel so you guys can get straight access to the YouTube channel, but you guys can set it up to whatever you want. You can even set it up to other apps on your phone, which is insanely nice. And if you guys want 10% off, you guys can use my code. There's a ton of different designs available on the website. There's a link in my description for 10% off so you guys can check that out or at checkout, just put in Spanko10 as your code and there you will get 10% off your purchase of a smart TCG field center. So for this combo over here, this is just a very simplistic two card combo. It requires Moye and any worm monster. So it doesn't have to be an Adhara. It could be any worm monster. It could be any sword soul card. All you need is a card to reveal off of Moye. And that's really it, right? So it's a 1.5 card combo really. It doesn't have to be a the Adhara. And this is the most basic sword soul combo, but I thought I should still throw it off. So you're gonna normal summon your Moye, activate your Moye effect, reveal the card that's in your hand. It doesn't matter what it is, but you're gonna get to reveal it and you're gonna get to special summon a token to your side of the field. Then you're gonna use the Moye as well as the token to make your first level eight synchro and the one you're going to be going to here is chi chow chi chow is really important to go into here because you get to search any card that you need in this case we're going to use chi chow chain link one moye chain link two the reason you do it this way is because the card you draw off of moye can kind of sometimes determine what you search off the chi chow so let's just say in this case the card you draw off moye is a blank so we're going to go chi chow now and we can search our long one we can actually search emergence as well at this point if we don't think our opponent has an ash we can just search an emergence to get cards in our graveyard set us up but let's just search long yuan right away and then what we can do now is because long yuan's in our hand we can activate its effect to pitch the worm monster that we had in our hand from earlier to summon the long yuan and then long yuan effect can summon, summon a token and then you can use these two essentially to go into any level 10 you but the typical one is to go into the baron right you can also technically depending on the matchup go into a sinister long yuan this is pretty good as well depending on the matchup it's really up to you what you want to go into first and the nice thing is long yuan when it's sent to the graveyard for a synchro summon is going to get to burn your opponent for 1200 life points so regardless what you decide to go into here you still have two to three disruptions no matter what now the reason i want to go back and talk about this combo is because we're just going to assume here that the moye draw was a blank and let's just say the moye draw happened to be something like a sword soul emergence let's just ha pretend like this was the draw right if this is the draw you actually don't want to search long you want right away and I'll, I'll talk about that in a second but this is the nice thing about this deck is the reason you want to do it this way like with the moye draw first you draw something like this you actually wouldn't want to search along you want what you can do here instead is just search the blackout now we have the blackout in our hand we can activate the sword soul emergence this would still be in our hand in this situation we can activate the emergence then search the long you want then activate the long you want to do this pitching this summon the token then you're going to make the level 10 of choice so in this case let's just go for a baron here let's just pretend it's baron and then what happens is now you have your blackout set which is another form of disruption for you so that's the nice thing about this deck is that the combo lines yes they all try to do the same thing but depending on what you have in your hand you can push the combo lines even further so I've been showing you guys a lot of two card combos, 1.5 card combos that you guys need to know for this deck, but there are combos with 2.5 cards that can actually still play through something like a Nibiru. And one of these hands is a Moye plus a Long Yuan. Keep in mind, any one of these could be Sword Soul Emergence. So don't think you have to open both of these. If you open Moye and Sword Soul Emergence, Emergence essentially acts as the other one that you need. So there's multiple ways to get into these. You're obviously playing three Moye, three Long Yuan plus three Emergence. So there's nine copies essentially of any card that you need in the deck. And that's why this deck is super, super consistent. But the reason I say it's a 2.5 card combo is because you need any worm monster or soul soul card afterwards to pitch off of the long yuan so it could be an adhara could be an ashuna it could be a, a vishuda it literally does not matter as long as you have a card to 
pitch. That's all that matters. So here, what you're going to do is you're going to actually normal summon your Moye, activate the Moye effect to reveal the Edhara from your hand to special summon the token. Now, the reason you want to actually do this first is because you want to see if your opponent will have a hand trap. Does your opponent have the hand trap to stop the Moye? At this point, your opponent does not have the knowledge that you have the Long Yuan. At this point, you're not going to make the Chi Chao. If this goes through, you're not going to make the Chi Chao because you want to play under 5 summons, you want to play under Nibiru. So what you're going to do is you're going to activate the Long Yuan now to pitch the Worm Monster and summon another token. So here now we have 4 summons. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 summons at this point. So you're still under Nibiru. What you're going to do now is you're going to use the Long Yuan as well as the token that it summons to make your Baron. So the first thing you're going to do is make a Baron here because now if your opponent does have the Nib, you have the Baron negate for it and you're perfectly fine. Then afterwards, you can use the Moye as well as the token to make your level 8. At this point, you want to make Chi Chao because you want more cards in your hand. You only have two cards in your hand at this point. So you're going to go Chi Chao, Chainlink 1, Moye, Chainlink 2. You get to draw a blank card. Doesn't matter what it is. But again, in a game situation, depending on what this card is, you can search another card, right? If you actually end up having to draw into a blackout, you can actually just search an emergence for follow-up for next turn. But let's just say you don't draw a blackout, but you want to search the blackout now because now you have another form of disruption through Chi Chao Baron and you still have three cards in your hand. If you draw the blackout, like I said, you can search an emergence, you can search a sacred summit if you want. So there's a lot of different ways to do this combo, but essentially at the end of the day, you're playing through Nibiru, you're still getting multiple disruptions on your side of the board and you still have cards in your hand. So if these are something like hand traps, that's even better for you. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I wanted to say that I showed you guys four combos in today's video. Now, keep in mind the deck definitely has more than four combos depending on what your hands look like you guys can switch it up but i wanted to show you guys four combos that you definitely need to know to play through hand traps to play around nibiru stuff like that and i think these ones are ones that you really really need to know just to get a basic understanding of sword soul and to be successful in today's format so if you guys enjoyed make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one and other Yu Gi Oh content as well thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you with that spanko signing out peace